Cecilia Panigutti, I'm a PhD student at Scuola Normale Superiore. And today I will present to you Dr. XAI, which is an ontology-based approach to black box sequential data classification explanation. So, I know th this is a long title, so I will break it down for you. So these are the main characteristics of our method. So first, it is an agnostic explainer, which is similar to LIME that was mentioned before. And this means that it does not use any internal parameter of the model, of the black box, it just query the model. It also deals with sequential data inputs, and it does so by, use, by using a control encoder-decoder pipeline, which preserves feature interpretability and uh, sequentiality of the input. It also exploits medical ontologies, so it uses um, the medical knowledge in the explanation process, and it deals with multi-label outputs. So why uh, doctor XI and why are all these uh, characteristics relevant in the healthcare settings? Because in the, there are, these are characteristics often found in healthcare uh, data. For example, uh, if you think about the patient clinical history, that's just a sequence of the patient uh, diagnosis, so it's a sequence. But also disease progression is inherently sequential, and omics data, genetic data, etc., they are sequences. Also, um, often these data are multi-labeled, which means that more than one label are, uh, which are not mutually exclusive are associated to the same instance. So this is the case, for example, with multimorbidity. So a patient might have both diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. But this is also true for, for example, functional gene expression. So one gene might have more than one functional expression. And also, uh, most of the times, uh, these data are ontology linked. What does it mean? That the knowledge surrounding uh, this data is encoded in a structured way in an ontology. This is an example of the ontology of the ICD-9 codes, which stands for International Classification of Diseases. And you can see that there is a root, which is a general uh, condition, we can call it disease. And the farther you go down into this tree-shaped ontology, the more detail you have about uh, the disease. So since uh, these are complex data characteristics, uh, the machine learning models have a more uh, predictive accuracy are black boxes, so models that are not, uh, it's not easy to understand what's going on inside this model. And this is an example of the, also of the black box that we use in our experiment, which is Dr. AI, developed by Choi and his colleagues, uh, which is a recurrent neural network that takes as an input the patient clinical history, and then it outputs what the patient will have next time he comes back to the hospital. And since these are IC9 codes, they are also ontology linked. So what does uh, Dr. XI uh, does is solves the outcome explanation process problem. So it does not explain the global behavior of the black box, but it just answers the question for one particular patient that might be interested in. Uh, so it, it answered the question why this patient was classified with this set of diagnoses by the black box. So, and it does so by first uh, selecting the closest neighbors in the data set, and we do this by selecting semantically similar patients to the one we are interested in. So we do this with these uh, ontology-based similarity metrics that I cannot go into the details of, but the details are on the paper. Then, uh, we generate, uh, starting from this first real patient in the data set, we um, generate some synthetic ones, um, and we do this also exploiting the ontology by masking similar conditions, which are the IC9 codes. And we do this in order to investigate the black box outcome, how it, does it change according to these uh, general conditions. So what we do is we uh, give these synthetic patients to the black box in order to have um, the label of the black box. And then this becomes the training set for an interpretable model that in our case is a decision tree. But since the decision tree cannot accept a um, sequence as input, what we do is we flatten the temporal dimension uh, in a way that actually preserve feature interpretability and the sequential information of the input. And again, the details are in the paper. And then we train a multi-label decision tree on it. And we provide the explanation as a um, decision rule, which is the uh, 
the set of the split condition from root to leaf for the patient we are interested in. So this is an example of an explanation. So we map the decision rule back to on the uh, sequence. So this is a, a patient with four visits. And you can see how the method highlights the most important codes in the sequence and that are the most important codes for the classification. And in terms of fidelity, um, these are uh, the distribution of fidelity at uh, different uh, K, which is the number of first real neighbors that we take in the data set. And there are two main findings. First, that actually creating the synthetic patient actually helps the fidelity of uh, the interpretable model, which is how good uh, the interpretable model is mimicking the behavior of the black box. And also that um, if we use the ontological information, actually we improve uh, the fidelity. So in conclusion, uh, we developed this first agnostic explainer, which is able to deal with sequential, multi-label, uh, and ontology-linked data, which is quite useful in the healthcare settings. And also we show that using this ontological information is actually key to have a more, uh, a more in, in good explanation uh, for the black box. And so with that, I end my talk and thank you. And if you want, uh, you can write me or the code, you, you can find the code at the GitHub repository. So thank you. <laughs>